Hello viewers, hopefully you can hear me okay. It's a little bit noisy down here. Um, I thought I'd start video documenting uh, my lab. Um, I'm at a kind of a halfway moment where I'm moving uh, what's essentially a bunch of shelves mounted to a wall right now into a rack enclosure. And I thought I'd just give you guys an overview of what I have set up down here and what the plan is and hopefully uh, a video of the finished product later down the road. So uh, let's get started. All right, figured I'd start from the bottom up. Start with my Triplight Smart Online UPS. This is a 2200 volt uh, battery backup system rated for 1600 watts at 100% load. I'll probably never get anywhere close to that. Um, at about, what does it say, 1800 watts, it'll run for about 14 minutes, I think. Um, this unit was in service for about two years, and I picked it up off a gentleman of Craigslist um, for 200 bucks. Uh, office closed down, and they didn't need it anymore. And uh, new, these things go for about eight or 900 bucks, so I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Battery's still good, self-test works. I have a second battery backup. But you can barely see hidden back here. So I can focus on this. It's this guy right here. Um, that's an older APC battery backup. It's been in service for about, let's say, seven years now. Um, still works just fine. I have an average uh, battery backup time. Of, uh, I last checked, it was 16 minutes to run all my gear, and we just tested it today. When we installed the uh, uh, 20 amp outlet for my new uh, trip light system. Uh, so it still functions. I plan on opening it up when I switch over to the rack to make sure the batteries are in decent shape. But for 120 bucks for new batteries or 200 for a whole new one, it's kind of a no brainer for me. Moving on. And here is my 24 port gigabit. HP switch. Let's see if I can get the model number focused for you. It's a managed uh, layer 2 and layer 3 switch. Currently running uh, not much, but got some link aggregation going on, um, some VLANs for my lab, and uh, this purple guy here is a console cable that plugs into one of my ESX hosts. Um, and back here is the battery backup. Moving on. On to the second row. Try to keep this short. Um, this is one of my first ESXi hosts. It's running 5.5 right now and a couple of management VMs. And this is my second ESXi host, which I just moved to this Narco uh, 2U rack case. Um, I'm sure I'll have some more information on these servers in later videos, but these are my two ESXi hosts for now. Um, this one is in a cluster of one, which doesn't really make it a cluster at all. Anyway, here is a bit of a Frankenstein 1U case router that I put together. It's running PFSense and some laptop parts. And occasionally it sounds like it's getting ready for takeoff. When I move to Iraq, this thing is losing its fan privileges. Too loud. Um, standard cable modem on top of that. And over here is a QNAP 4 bay NAS. It's currently running a RAID 5 array with uh, two terabyte drives in it. So I got six terabytes usable and a simple external backup drive on top. It's uh, running some NFS volumes for my ESXi data stores and is configured with dual gigabit ethernet and a lag on my switch here. So yeah, that's the, <coughs> that's the setup in a nutshell. And uh, like I said, <coughs> this is a project to move all of this to my rack. Here it is. This is a uh, 
Falcon rack, 24U enclosure. Um, picked this one up off Craigslist for 400 bucks. I believe these are near a thousand bucks new. Um, it's in decent shape. Uh, there's a couple nicks on it and everything, but the rest is all welded steel and completely solid. So it came with a couple of rails. Uh, I think a Dell and an HP rail. Mm, probably not going to use those since I have white box servers, so they may end up on Craigslist. Um, it also has the optional casters on it. So it rolls and uh, has an adjustable depth rail system. Right now it's set to 29 inches. I think it looks like it goes out to 30 front to back. And yeah, I think it was a pretty good find. So um, this is the rack, and this makes it an enclosure. Doors are not on it right now. Single padlock. Lift and twist. Like all data centers. We've got the uh, front door. Rear door is a double door. Also has a lock on it. And the sides are back there, which also have locks on it. Um, the doors are off because this thing weighs a ton. Figuratively, I would estimate it's about 300 pounds or so, and uh, yeah, it kind of sucks to put it in the back of a truck or something like that, so I took all the panels off it to make it as light as possible. Um, I also noticed that this, this rack is rated for uh, 2,000 pounds of equipment, one ton, and um, it's welded, which is very good for structural rigidity. Not so good for your back when you're trying to uh, make it as light as possible to move down uh, a flight of stairs or something like that. And my camera ran out of space. But we're back now. And in a slightly different orientation. But there you have it guys. My uh, enclosure project that I hope to have completed in a couple weeks here. Um, I have a, another 2U server chassis on the way to put the other ESXi hosting, as well as a couple rail kits for the cases and the uh, UPSs, which are going to go on the bottom there. I also have some fans to make the whole thing a little quieter and a uh, rack mountable power strip. So there you have it. Hopefully I will provide an update uh, shortly with my progress and if you guys have any questions or want to see any additional videos on any of the equipment that I have or what I'm doing here in my humble little project just let me know and uh, yeah stay classy bye